Hi everybody, I'm Jen Fidel, the Pack Mom, here to make your life as a pet parent a little bit easier. Today we're talking about how to bathe a short-haired dog. Short-haired dogs are great, aren't they? They're so easy to maintain, as far as their coats go, that is. However, they do need to be bathed, and they probably need a bath every once a month to once every couple of months, or if they're really active and like to get really dirty, maybe a little bit more often. So what's the best way to do it? Well, you're gonna start off with a good brush. For short coated, double matted, or double coated dogs, you're going to use either a slicker brush, a good uh, pin brush like the one I have in front of me, or even this rubber zoom groom brush that when you brush that undercoat, it's pulling out all of that dead hair and dead skin. Once you have brushed and eliminated as much dead hair as possible, you're going to go to a nice, gentle, all natural shampoo, something that is pH balanced for dogs specifically. So I love a couple of brands I have on the table and sometimes I actually use conditioner as well. If you're using a medicated shampoo, make sure you let the medicated shampoo sit on the dog for whatever is recommended. And if you're using a conditioner, make sure to let that conditioner hang out on the coat one to two to even three minutes and then rinse off thoroughly. When you wash your dog, start by wetting his coat from the neck all the way down the body, ending with the feet. And if, you have, if you're in a tub, you might want to put a stopper in the tub and let the water fill up a little bit, maybe just below the dog's knees to make him just relaxed with some warm water and more comfortable in the tub. Then you're going to put the conditioner or the shampoo, whatever you're using, in your hand create a little lather and start working it into your dog's coat from the neck all the way down to the tail and down to the paws. After you're done and you've let the medicated shampoo sit or if you're not using a medicated shampoo and you're complete, then rinse your dog again from the neck all the way down. To wash your dog's face, it's really going to depend on the type of dog you have. If you have a really wrinkly dog, you may want to get a nice Q-tip with a little bit of shampoo and lift up those wrinkles and, and get them clean in between. If you have just a, a dog like a Lab or Chihuahua or any other type of non-wrinkly dog, I like to get a paper towel, wet it, put a little bit of shampoo on it, make it a little bit of, with a lather, wash his face, rinse it off the same way. Drying. Drying is super important because if you don't dry well enough, then that moisture can sometimes get trapped in that undercoat especially and maybe become not so quite as fragrant as you might like. So they have tons of good towels on the market that are kind of fast drying, quick drying, absorb tons of water fast. So make sure you dry that dog as best as you can. And next, you're going to want to clean those ears. So what's the best way to do that? I like to use a cotton ball if I have one. If I don't, I just lift up the dog's ear, squirt the medication or the cleanser into the ear canal, gently massage on the outside of the ear canal, and let the dog shake it out. Then I get my cotton ball, rub out any excess on the inside, and I'm done. If you want to clean your dog's teeth at this point, that probably would be a good idea. Use a dental wipe or a toothbrush a regular toothbrush or a finger toothbrush will work, and some doggy, either doggy toothpaste or a doggy gel, and you're good to go. So those are my tips to bathe a short-coated dog. I'm Jen Fidel, the Pack Mom. Have a great day.